All right, we're getting going here today. We've got, yep, live cam, webcam, game cam, beautiful puppy. Game audio and microphone, perfect. We're gonna pick up right where we left off yesterday. Just as a reminder, we're trying to clear up the other quests that we have. In this case, we had the investigate, the source of the fireworks being shoved into children's toys to blow up refugee children quest. Uh, we investigated, we found the guys who were responsible and murdered them all. Uh, but we also haven't yet explored the basement. So that's what we're going to start with today is going into the basement and seeing if there's any new cool things to find down there. Which we do have a key. It's still locked, but now it's not because we have a key. Squidgens. Puppy, are you being so silly? You need lap time? Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me some lap time. I love my lap time. You're a good boy. You know that you are. Okay, and we've learned the box of fireworks is is a sucky item. Let's have a look. Because it's fight showing that it does a whole lot of fire-based damage. That says container. It's a wine rack. They didn't label that one properly. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything when thrown. Oh. Well, that wasn't very good. I should have walked more carefully. I guess we're gonna use our second short rest. I'll fill that one later. Out of nowhere. Did I say old floppy disk? This looks like a primo, and if we, it looks like a thinner wall. This looks like a great fake wall here. I just failed a perception check. But it was a right up next to the wall perception oh, check. Water deep. Trap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Okay, it's highlighting the wall, but I can't select the wall. Time to press ahead. Hmm. There's a lever back here. <clears throat> oh, excuse you. Big old burp. Destitute clothes. We're gonna take, take the painting. Open up. Hmm. Oh, that's what the Avery storage key went to. Nice. This goes to Shadow Heart. And speaking of healing potions, Lost in thought. My faith Gale, will guide me. Shadow Heart, you two need to drink a potion. There you go. That'll do. Just check check that pouch. Useful. Old floppy hat. That makes a bit more sense in the context of this game than old floppy disc. More books for our budding library back home. Let's try this way. Okay, this is clearly a fake wall. Let's pull the lever. I'll give it a try. And there's a trap. We have seen the trap through the wall. Okay. Thank you for the lap time while it lasted, Mr. Bobby. Avoid that trap. Okay, we see that. Still breathing. Despite everything. 
Let's have everyone back up to over here. Oh. Don't mind if I do. These came out of the explodey things. That's cool. Okay. Just in case. What's down here is other than just a whole bunch of smoke powder barrels. Is that all it is? Is it just a whole bunch of smoke powder barrels? They provide a button that also opens and closes this. Probably like a just in case you get accidentally teleported in here type of situation. See what happens if we blow it all up. Let's stay as far back as we can. Here we go again. Okay. Was anything revealed by the explosion? No, there's. Okay. I hit in the wall with a whole bunch more smoke powder that doesn't really do anyone any good. Okay. Here goes nothing. <gasps> we lost shovel. Or no, we we renamed them fork, and we lost fork. Oh man, did fork get killed in the explosion? I don't know, now I feel extra sad. Okay. Cure Marina, we can go check out. We still haven't finished exploring here. What is this one? Meet with Mistra in a Storm Shore Tabernacle. What is this one? That's whatever that is. Find the Diabolist Hilsik. Find the Zar Palace, reach Cazador's place. We probably want to take Asturion with us if we do that. That's the Steel Watch Foundry. Search Flim's cargo for the Beastmaster. Let's go. Try to cure... Why does it keep jumping back and forth? Let's go try to cure Marina. Gorgash has got to be paying the mouth sink fees. How can we try to cure Marina? <laughs> the hag is evil incarnate. Have a lot on my mind. mind. And, well. You didn't finish the line. You're supposed to say, well, in it. Okay, we're going to do the thing where you just walk straight through the wall. And then Gail had to jump. Okay, get stuck inside the bookshelf this time, sure. Where is Karlak going? Karlak, where are you going? Karlak, where did you go?
<laughs> hey, we found Connor. The voodoo doll. Oh, well, Carlac found her way back to us. Hi there, Connor. Do I need to speak with Deadspell to talk to you? Okay, that's about what I expected. Oh, is it Marina the sheep? She got polymorphed? Do you remember me? Okay, and she's making different animal sounds. That was a terrible roll. It appears to be an ordinary sheep. Uh, Carla. You can speak to animals, right? I'm here to help you, all right? Listen to, to me. Okay, I'm listening. The doll. The mm -hmm. doll. Yep, the doll. Doll, got it. The doll. Find the doll. Is it the doll over in the corner that's laughing at you? It's like 10 feet away? Is this doll? Interesting little fella. <laughs> huh. Interesting little fella. Where did it go? Oh, it's on top of this crate. <laughs> Interesting little fella. <laughs> Interesting little fella. Interesting little fella. Oh, that did damage to Marina. Okay, we don't want to do that. Well, it did one damage to Marina. Interesting little fella. It took four damage and did one to Marina. It took five and did one to Marina. We could always heal Marina. Huh. Interesting little fella. If it comes right down to it. Huh. You're down to fella. four. Huh. Interesting down to little fella. three. Does your thing supposed to only do as little damage as it says? Do. What if I do a more powerful attack against it? Target cannot be an inanimate entity. Very well. Blood follows me everywhere. What a strange looking doll. Okay, you're down to two. I don't want you to die, so we'll get you. What a strange looking doll. Okay, Shadow Heart. <laughs> what do you mean you can't reach the sheep? Have to keep pushing. It's just the sheep. It's not gonna run away. Okay, that brought you back up to higher than full health. Where is the... There it is. It's still down to one. Oh. Oh. It was the dragon 
involved. You removed my hex. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I wanted Why? to play a little longer. That's that's messed up. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy. I had to get my hands dirty. Oh, so you're a traitor. Your hex. You were behind this. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I will die before I let anyone touch a hair on her head. I know ten ways to kill you before you can blink. Are we doing this or not? <clears throat> the hag charms you. You don't know what you're saying. Huh. You have no idea how wrong you are. I have worshipped her for decades past. And will for decades more. Oh, the red cuts. Oh, please, not again. Oh, wait, are you? Okay, so you're not actually a lizard. <laughs> okay. Let's have Carlac. Yeah, I want you to come here to your happy place over here. Now, what I can do is come do a. Not enough movement for that? Come on. Fine, do this. That's good. Uh, you can also do this. Uh, sure, be reckless. War God's Blessing? What the heck? Follow, endow a nearby alley with the glory of your god to grant them plus 10 to their attack roll. Okay. That's interesting. Who, which one are you, Aridel? You? Huh. Okay. You used a reaction to make sure Carlac hit. Fuck yes. While Carlac also used a reaction to make sure she hit. What should I do? You should... Go right here. And smash. Yes. You deserve this, treacherous prick. Yeah, we're gonna loot the corpse. Perhaps, Ethel's lair key. Read the note. <clears throat> My darling, Auntie has sent you a little present, a hex doll, just for Marina. Use it to scare her and her little cronies off, or butcher them, I don't care. Just find that book, or I'll rip out your lungs and feed them to your brothers. Lots of love, Auntie. There you go, Shadowheart, have another potion. Hey, Marina, what can you tell us? That lying, thieving, scaly little shit! Thanks for knifing the bastard. You're welcome. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. Well, I'm gonna save the whole world, so I mean, I might as well save you. You made an adorable sheep. Thanks. But my mouth tastes like mutton. I can't reach places. I'm going to make the witch that did this pay. And I have the means to do it. You do? This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight and your, back. And your dead zombie husband. Don't forget about him. But lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. Wow, that's screwed up. Any leads? None. Her mother has no idea of what she's up against. Poor woman thinks the fist will be able to help her. The moment I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. Next thing I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. You are going to give your kid to a hag willingly. Maybe this is the same? When someone tells you, day in, day out, that you be a useless mother, well, you start to believe it. 
Who knows what she's done to this woman? That's yeah, fucked up. Look, Sorry, you've been through that. I know you're busy with big time heroics, but we need your help. A child's life is on the line, and her mother is the best lead we've got. Okay. I'm in. Thank you. With you at our side, that hag won't know what hit her. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework on hags since we last tangled with Ethel. Take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. Laura was knocking about Basilisk Gate at the Flaming Fist's headquarters. Good luck. Okay, I'm looking for someone named Laura. Staff of Interruption. It grants a level 5 counter spell. Mm, I mean, that's not bad, but it's not as good as Hoof Trodden Diary. It's not as good as Gale's current staff. Fate starts off written in an elegant cursive, but soon devolves into a scrawling mess. I dreamed of Ethel again. She laughed, mouth full of my guts as she ripped my baby from my stomach with her teeth. I screamed, and so did the babe, but then it changed into a doll, a horrible looking thing. Woke up freezing cold, but burning hot. Will I ever escape that goddamn witch? I saw the doll again, but it was no dream. Cled was telling me about a nice cloud he saw outside when I spotted it over his shoulder, staring at me. I screamed, and poor Cled started screaming too, so I lied and said I saw a mouse. I think I just need to sleep. The doll, it's everywhere. I tried to warn the others, but I can't speak, can't walk. My fingers stiffen as I write. Adrian, get the page in, in a bizarre off-kilter scrawl. What's inside? <clears throat> you said it was at the safe at the back, but I don't see a safe. That just goes outside. I could check up the ladder. There's a heavy chest. That's for Carlac. That's for Gale. That's for me. Eh, we're not taking the food. Autumn Crocus. Not when the whole city's in danger. There are three to be an excuse. Anything to close in our slave chests. Love mind control. You do well to buy a charm, Sharpie. <sighs> no time to rest. Hmm. Okay, where is the safe in the back that she was referring to? Can't be like out here. Unless it's like in this crack, but we couldn't go in that crack earlier, so why would we be able to do it now? Well, yep, we're gonna take the artwork. Hi, Cled. The Dragonborn was Cled's friend. Why? He was only pretending to be her Why friend. It was all a ploy. But Lady Marina was kind to him. Anyone who hurts Lady Marina is Cled's enemy. Aw, thanks, Cled. I'm glad to be your friend. There's a wooden hatch to a basement. Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Okay, we'll disarm the mine then. Step carefully. There's a trap. Trap. Be cautious. We're gonna roll tin. Why do we roll so many fucking tins? I'm gonna Google that actually. If that is something that other people have gone through.
Okay, so I'm not the only one who's getting an obscene number of tins in Act 3. DC 99 puzzle door in the vault. We have a rogue with reliable talent. Is that an attribute that I have? I think I want this view. No, this one? Maybe, I don't. Where is that? What is the reliable talent? How do I know if I have it? Do you just automatically get it, or is it something you can choose? It's a passive you get at level 11. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely getting 10 more than 50% of the time. Okay, well, we're not the only one experiencing this glitch. It's very annoying, but it's not game-breaking, so we'll just ignore it for now, I suppose. There it is. There it is. Really? Uh, 
Okay, the trap's going off somehow. Opened a secret door. I don't want to go in there yet. I want to go in here. That's for Carlac, and that's for Shadow Heart. Back, 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 back. Underwear. Greeting to this home's new occupants. To whom it may concern, we shall never meet, but I am Garlo. I have spent most of my life in the walls in which you now find yourself. I served long within this home, such that it was left to me when my master died. I devoted myself wholly to a life of service, but found once my time had finished that I had hardly lived for myself a single day. That's changed now. I depart for Kalansham in the morning and hope to see the world from there. Please take care of this little place. It was my whole world. Best Garlo. Uh. Garlo, you're probably dead now, sir. Sorry to say. Okay, those can both go to our... <clears throat> now we're just going to build our library. Garlo's retirement plans. List of things to do. Climb a tree. Have a truly exceptional sandwich. Spend a whole day reading. Visit Waterdeep. Get a massage. Swim in Chwanthar. Buy a new coat. Get a cat. Oh, this normal people life goals. Well, I hope you accomplish the things you set out to do. You deserve it. Oh wait, yes, we want that. Murgrass, perfect. All that can be wares. Some rotten fish. What is this? It's a puddle of water? Or is this like wine that is leaked out of these big barrels? Must just be water. Okay, well, there's a failed perception check here. Okay, there's at least two traps here. I feel like there's probably another one over here. Yep, there we go. That's what I was looking for. barrel. That's an interesting. Old Garlo's basement back room key. One of those should go to Gale. I suppose that that probably would have unlocked this door. If only we didn't blow up the door instead, by mistake. Okay, but the basement didn't contain... That's clearly, like, look at that. It's like, goes to the outside. And then... Look at this down here. 
that comes from outside where down below the basement would be and goes to inside. You can't go through it in either direction, but that's definitely like the devs planned to make it that way and then they just never made the transition barrier or how, whatever the terminology is. Mayrina was hexed mere days after the Dragonborn joined us. Why didn't I see it? Because you're dumb? <clears throat> That's no excuse. I know what they're like. Yet still, I welcome the Dragonborn with open arms. Mayrina was right about you. Thank you for saving her when I couldn't. Oh wait, no, we just talked to you. you I wasn't trying to talk to you again. Or she'll never stop tormenting us. Please. I'm gonna stop talking to me. I was trying to talk to whoever else might be around here. This journal is written in an elegant hand. On each page, a gauntlet with a staring eye is carefully drawn. I was lost when I came to the city. A coward, a drunkard. I thought everything that made me worthy had been stripped away by the Annis Hag. And then Mayrina found me. She helped me remember the tenets I once fought for. Courage, honor, duty. She brought me back to Helm. She saved my life. Now my savior, my friend, is in pain. A hex hagged her. A, a hag hexed her, trapping her in the body of a sheep. It was my job to protect her and the others, and I failed. If she dies, I will not be long following her. Okay, but she said the safe in the back had the book. I can't believe one of our own was a red cap. His disguise was excellent. Before. Had a hag mask root itself to my face. I should have thank you for stepping up when I didn't. Right to do the trick. Okay. Notice of condemnation. Dear sir, as our previous correspondents have gone unanswered, a Baldur's Gate representative was forced to enter your property in order to inspect the premises. Your property has been found in gross violations of several safety regulations. See City Bylaws 38A through 39C for a complete list. Till steps are taken to correct this, we are condemning the property known as Old Garlow's Place, effective immediately under Bylaw 42A. Should you wish to contest this, please contact your local builder's guild representative. Kind regards, Ardent Low, Council of Four Liaison. Okay. Oh, there it is. This is a safe. And it's kind of in the back. This must be what they were talking about. Tear Stained Journal. This book seems part diary, part scientific study. Detailed diagrams of hags, from green to anise to dune, fill the margins. This page is written in a harsh, sloping scrawl. Sentences are blurred by what looks like tears. The girl is dead. We were close, so close to perfecting it. Another day, and she would have been safe. But we were too late. It was too much for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafters this morning. Helm, forgive me for not saving her. Forgive me for not saving her child, two years old and eaten alive by a hag. What is wrong with this world? But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm on to something. I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. It's what allows them to turn a child into a hag. However, their gut flora is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemical agents. With the right ingredients and helm on my side, I could theoretically force emesis, causing the hag to vomit up a stolen child. I both pray this works and that I'll never have to use it. Detailed inspections follow to make what the author calls the hag's bane. No! 
Ashes of Dried Fay Flower. A Hunter's Guide to Hags. An excerpt from A Hunter's Guide to Hags by a legendary Dwarven Ranger, Amandine Hartwood. Text in this excerpt has been underlined several times. All but the most arrogant of hags, from knight to bear, know that death is a possibility. As such, they won't hesitate to bend the rules of a material plane to escape death's clutches, returning stronger than ever. To do this, hags use, of all things, the common and humble mushroom. By imbuing these spore-producing fungi with her essence, she can endlessly revive herself. Neither blade nor bow will do these fungi lasting harm. The very twisted magic that heals the hag defends them. Instead, fire is your ally. Burn the mushrooms to ashes, and your blade will strike the hag's heart true. But a warning, hunter, even in death a hag is dangerous. Be quick, be swift, and be deadly. Okay. Uh, Gale. We need you to brew Hag's Bane. Is it a potion? An elixir. A grenade. We can make a tadpole elixir? Any essence plus tongue of madness makes a tadpole elixir? Is it a grenade? It's a grenade. Ashes of dried fey flower plus an essence equals hagsbane. In the land of the Pr Prismere, where fair Zablina reigns, they had their share of hag trouble. Oh yes, they had it in spades. <sighs> Hags have a special predilection for children and the power inherent to innocence. Disrupting one and the consumption of that power could be cataclysmic for the hag. Nice, now we have a hag's bait, but it's a grenade, so we should give it to Shadow Heart. Mm, where did it go? There it is. Wait. Force a hag that consumed the child to disgorge it instantly. There you go, Shadow Heart. Okay, now that we have a potion to make her throw up the child she has eaten, let's, let's go hunt her down. Now, where are we supposed to go? It's, we're supposed to find the mother and interview her and try to get a lead. But where is she? That's not that one. Not that. That's the one. Her name was Laura. Swift as my feet can carry me. Forgive me. What was her name? Hey, Laura. We're here about your missing daughter. Times do I hate to say it? You sent words about a lead. I said that I should come see you. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? I think the blaze is having her mind controlled. I've been through these past few days? <clears throat> You're Laura, right? And your child is missing? Yes. Her name is Vanra. This stupid, useless fist. Said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said she was. She's being like mind manipulated in some way. Heaven? Yes, the blushing mermaid down by the docks. I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? I'm listening. Tell me what happened. Excuse me, citizen, but if this is a criminal matter, it's my business, not yours. Now, madam, if you'll just tell me why you're here, I'll take down the details. Oh my god. What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! I think there's a hag in the city. This might be connected. A hag in Baldur's Gate? Preposterous. 
Don't scare me more than I already am. What would a hack on with my Vanra? She's just lost. That's all. Hearts. I'm so afraid. And so tired. I've been looking night and day. Everywhere yeah. I could. I'm trying to help. Just tell me. I've no family. And Vanra's father isn't around. A flame and fist were my last resort. I will help you find your daughter. You will? I just said that like three Thank times. You. You're as bad as the slept a flaming since fist she lady. Disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just stop by the docks. Was anyone else with you? No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. <laughs> Just a quickie, huh? Any other witnesses? Of course. The front of house, Boston Gannett was there. And the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. I'll head to the Blushing Mermaid. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. Come They're not idiots. The They're you hear having magical mind problems of some kind. Commander Portier, acting marshal of the Fist. If you have a crime to report, please wait outside. We're currently at capacity. Mm, I wanted to. Your tools were stolen, right? No, you were mugged. Wait, I'm mixing you up with another citizen. I'm terribly sorry. I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay, well, y'all are just incompetent, huh? Let's see what this does. Oh, that's just a cook. Not anything we're interested in. Let's see what Portier has to say. Okay, so where is the blushing mermaid? Down by the docks, you said. This one? That one. Uh, this one is closer, I think. What do you mean? What else is down there? Where is the Blushing Mermaid? I don't know how to navigate a city, do I? It's here. Hey, look. Water. Nesha Leisha. The Blushing Mermaid. My friend dared me to come here alone for a couple of mugs of ale. So here I am. Hmm, you're not the brightest, are you? Anyone else here have seen this missing child? Or can give us more information? <clears throat> Baldur's Gate has a new duke. Gortash will do marvelously. Don't you think? No. No, I don't think. Keep he's gonna die it's about you in here the captive is trying to keep it hush hush but i heard a kid got nabbed child is called vanner right what happened don't know just heard whispers but this all kicked off when we started letting just anyone waltz into the city some folks have started breaking into places too 
spotted a bunch of misfits sneaking into one of them boarded up houses. Animals. It might be the very oh, misfits that we're trying to help. Because they're in a condemned house right now. Gortash is the bad guy. This used to be such a beautiful city. Hey, Svend. Hi, Siggy. Anything y'all know? You're going on a date? Are you joking? The city is a hair's breadth from violence, and we're shipping off at first light. So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Heck. <laughs> skip the date. And I'll take you out the next time we port, all right? She's right, you should leave the city while you have the chance. I wonder what check I just missed. Use friendship to our advantage. See? The slightly creepy eavesdropper agrees with me. I'll sweeten the deal. Come back tonight, and I'll give you the good hammock. Bloody hells. You're like a stray with a bone. <laughs> Fine. But only because it's you asking. Okay. I can't ask them anything about this missing child, apparently. Okay. I think we were explicitly told to talk to you. If you had to choose the rat one or the blonde one, which should I? Which would you choose? Both. Um, I'll say the red because I'm a redhead. All right. You're so right. I have a feeling he would have said that no matter no matter which one I said. Okay, uh, not what I was expecting the the dilemma to be. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly or shank you. Got it? How about asking press questions about a missing child? Welcome to the Blushing Mermaid. Why does it kick you out of dialogue sometimes? Tastes like piss, I know. I hear about a missing girl. Guards above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? Who pulled a knife on you? That woman, Lara, Laura, whatever her bloody name is. She was screaming her head off about some kid. Tore the place apart. <sighs> bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had to clock her in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Let's see what your wares are. If you must. Hmm. You have fancy water, regular water, and fancy water. Interesting. Um. Well, you have 750 gold. So let's take back. Things. How much are these? Yeah. We'll take that back. You know, you can have all of those for just whatever amount of gold you've got. And... Yeah, I don't want any of your extra stuff. Do I? No, I don't. Hey, we got a plus one on our attitude. Enjoy the blushing mermaid. Okay, where's Captain Grizzly? Tipplesome patron. The blushing maid it comes. Why are you all just called Tipplesome patrons? Just leave me to burn. 
Ain't no better grizzly than Captain. I mean, Captain than Grizzly. You're all just gonna say generic lamb? Another! You're cock something. Hey there, slog. Bruno Indomicus. That's a cool name. If you're some big fan of Duke Gortash, turn your ass around and walk. Preferably straight into the arbor waters. Uh, no, but I'm a fan of you. Uh, based on nothing but the fact that you don't like Gortash. Maybe I'll have just one. I could close the maiden. Word of advice. Don't open a tab here. I didn't pay for 16 C months, and suddenly it's work off your debt or lose a limb. Not a bit of reason on them. Six months? Dude, you have a problem. Tud Whetstone, you have a real name. Why am I? Oh, I'm over encumbered. This should go to. Wanna hear a hot one? The yeah. other day, I met some folks who banded together to fight back. Against what, you ask? Hags. Hags? Yep. How stupid can you get? I mean, no, that's what I'm doing right this very moment. Kind of. In a way. Shadowheart, you carry those. And these things. All of these things go to camp. Carlac carries this. Shadowheart carries this. Uh, that can get marked as wares. And Carlac can carry it. There, that's better. Hey, you have a real name. Dad, I'm not a cow. You can sell on the market. Please, honey. She's right. She's not a cow. Predators are clawing at our door. This marriage will save the business. Just meet the Nielsen son. One meeting. For us. For your family. Excuse me, sir. Quick question. Would you marry a stranger so your family can make buckets of gold? I mean, I already have buckets of gold. Why would I need to marry someone? I don't know about marriage, but I'd meet with them at least. See? I'll tell your mother to make arrangements. But, Dad... Not another word. You'll meet the Nielsen boy, and you're going to love him. I promise. I mean, that is still just gross in general. Hey, you're Captain Grizzly. Where does the downstairs go? The cellar? Can't a captain be bloody hung over in peace? Okay. Oh, why, hello there, Captain Grizzly. I don't like your service. tone of voice, Captain Grizzly. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? Why don't you tell me why you're so heavily armed? I count no less than three hidden blades. <laughs> Sharp eyed, aren't you? But you missed a few. I may not sail the seas anymore, but that doesn't mean I'm not ready for trouble. So behave. Oh, behave. What services do you offer? Oh, there's drinks of plenty at the bar. Anything else? Well, those days are behind me. Even for one as fine looking as yourself. Mm, I'm here looking for a missing girl. Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, 
She pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? Uh, she actually did not. No, no, she didn't. That's because she's taking you for a ride. And not the fun kind. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Blackdagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. <laughs> I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. What are you suggesting? There's one way and one way only to shut someone up. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this. <laughs> but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. Mm. I'm going to say I need to think about it. Because there is a chance, because we know hags can disguise themselves, but there is a chance. That Laura herself is the hag. Okay, we just can come into their basement and steal their gold. Sure, okay, that's cool. How is that path interrupted? What is interrupting that path? Maybe what the I heck kind of pathfinding is that? Something over there. Is it a fake wall? It is a fake wall. Who is gonna dig? Carlac? Let's lockpick this door. I oh, shouldn't have used guidance, it doesn't matter. Is this the hag's hidey hole? Already? This place. Why does it remind me of Auntie Ethel? The baby must be getting so big. I love I can't you. Wait to see. See. So Wait, Captain Grizzly, how did you get down here? We walked past you to get down here. Baby must be so, happy with so many dates to plan. I am. I want so many auntie to be my spot. wife. Gonna dig the lot. What exactly does ephemeral whispers mean? You're tempted by Ethel's whispers. I wonder Auntie if protects me, treasure. Yeah. She keeps treasure. me safe. safe. Everywhere. What the heck? I don't want to have to kill these people. The baby must be getting so big. I love you, I Auntie. I Thank love you, you so Auntie. much. Gonna Thank dig. you for making me. Gonna dig. Be cautious. Oh, that was close. <laughs> There's a whispering mask. Trapped. 
Yep, you're right. It is trapped. Lost time? These are more strange hag potions. Last her 50 turns. What is it? What lasts for 50 turns? Its seal is dry and cracked with age, yet the clear potion within bears no signs of spoilage. A mother's loathing. Gain bite until next long rest. Armor class is reduced by two and cannot take reactions. Well, that's just garbage. Hemorrhage, one to six damage, bleeding from the inside. Traditional brew of ergot and nutmeg, meant to recapture the fluttering thrill of first love. No, 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 don't throw it. Gives you bite as a bonus action until your next long rest. Let's have Shadowheart drink that. Well. <laughs> I want Shadowheart to be able to bite people. It just sounds fun. Drink. There you go. Now you have a bite bonus action. Melee range attack roll once per turn. Wait. That says action. That says action right there. But the potion said you would gain as a bonus action. Well, that's useless now. Is that blood? No, never mind. A couple turns should do it. Okay. I made a save against Vicious Mockery. I'm pretty sure I'm immune to Vicious Mockery after wearing the necklace for so long. Oh, a lever. There's a lever over here. Here we go. Something over there. Oh, there is a secret door behind these barrels. So we didn't need to find the illusory wall, did we? That door must go outside somehow. But where are we? That there is a chasm. There's a gnarly cauldron, eh? Something good here, I hope. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take those things. Carlac, I feel like you could jump up here if you wanted to. Pearl Spore Bell. The start of this turn, Mushroom, keeping anti ethyl alive, regains all its hit points unless some effect prevents it from restorative healing. Okay, so what you're saying is we need to destroy these mushrooms. Good thing we read in that book. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I was explicitly told to use fire. That is, that is accurate. No one back home will ever believe this. <clears throat> another day, another fight. Well, that didn't do much. Okay, let's do a turn-based mode in which... We have multiple people shoot it with fire. Ripe with magic. Not enough movement. 
Why would you need to move so far, Gale? Dude, make the jump. Why are you... Why are you canceling your own jump? What the actual hell are you doing, Gale? This is weird. Okay, that was annoying. There's no time to waste. Yep. So don't waste it. Instead, do an Ignis. Ignis. Thank you. Six health Ignis. left. Karlak, you don't have fire, but you can shoot an arrow. And then shoot another arrow. No, no, Peter. That wasn't very polite. I killed you. Did you think you were the first? That I didn't plan for it, Petal? That said, I'm shocked and appalled, Petal. I can't believe you tried to gut me out in the open like that. After all, it's not just me anymore. I, what is it they say? Eating for two. Well, no, I have the, uh... I have the hag's bane. I'm gonna throw it at you and make you throw up the child in your tummy. Gobbled myself up a sweet little girl. And she was so very tasty. A red sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. I have your beat, so do the heroic thing. Die. Careful. If the hag dies, the child does too. Not if we. Death is but a word away. Okay, the very, very, very first thing that I need to do is throw the grenade of Hag's Bane at her. Does Gale have it? Or does Shadowheart? Who has it? That's cool artwork. Uh, this one? Okay. Give that to the him because Nothing he is the one who's easy. going first. 70% but the path is interrupted. Shoot. Okay, come around. Hags Bane, please don't miss. What did you? Okay, I saw the miss, and I was about to have a heart attack. Okay. That's it. Cough her up, Hag. No. Carlyke approves of me taunting the Hag. Good job, child. Good job running away, child. Okay, I don't have a good bonus action, do I? I mean, that is useless because I already get a... Uh, Expeditious Retreat could be useful for any character who needs to be able to dash as a bonus action instead of a regular action. But I can already do that, because I'm a rogue and I can do cunning action dash. So... Yeah, I don't know. Come, darlings. Help, oh, damn it. Oh, 
Okay, so where are all the anti-ethals? There's one. Those ones are invisible and I have not successfully seen them, I think is what it's, what it's telling me. Okay, Carlac. Uh, you get right next to Sh Shadow Heart. And I want to do an elixir of sea invisibility because that that can work on splash, right? So that we could throw it at the ground and give both you and Shadow Heart the ability to see invisible. Um, I know that I have some. Wyvern toxins. Why don't those stack? I don't know. That's weird. That's invisibility. I want C invisibility. There it is. Yes. Elixirs always work on splash damage, if I remember correctly. So what we want to do is give this to Carlac. Nope, not that. This. No. You have disadvantage to hit your own teammate with it? Okay, fine. It This one doesn't work. Drink it. Um, let's actually borrow a grenade, no, an arrow? Uh, um, you know, let's borrow a grenade from Shadow Heart. This. Do we have more of those? Smoke powder bombs. Let's check this shrapnel grenade. Does it have path is interrupted, okay. Moving. Okay, you didn't get a attack of opportunity, that's cool. Because there's still a couple invisible ones, but really, we only care about the one that is perfect. That that proved that this is the the real one. The invisible one was dissipated. That is also must be a fake one. But you're the real one. So extend your bleeding for two extra turns. Nope, you got a save against the... Oh, no, you didn't. Gaping wounds are different than bleeding, my mistake. Two damage per turn. An additional two damage for every attack against you. Okay. I don't fancy their chances. You shouldn't, Gale. You shouldn't. Uh, let's look at a spell, Witch's Bolt. One by one. Perfect. Now we can just simply reactivate that every turn for free damage. As long as your concentration isn't broken. Which we'll try to make sure doesn't happen. And maybe next time she summons her fakes, maybe we'll be able to see... Which one is you if the lightning bolt stays attached? I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. Um, can you go invisible, Gale? So that they don't target you. There it is. Drink that as a bonus action. Uh, 
I wonder if that will work, or if they'll be able to see Slightly just distance. see the lightning and know where he is anyway. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Okay, Gail, you did good. Shadow Heart. Uh, I'm gonna want you to throw a fire grenade over here where you will hit this mushroom. And anti-ethyl. Path is interrupted. Okay, well then... Go this way. Can you go more in this direction? Kind of. A little tiny, like a half a step, but half a step is better than nothing. Those are the same. Uh, sure, let's just go for this one. Right at Auntie Ethel's big ugly face. Okay, just a tiny bit of damage to this. Does this do every turn? Is that how that works? At the start of its turn, you regain all your hit points unless some effect prevents it from healing. Okay, so I need to like shoot you with an arrow of Illmater is what you're telling me. Psionic Backlash. Okay, Gale got his save, which is great. You failed a wisdom check, unfortunately. Curse of Terror, I'm frightened, oh no. You failed a wisdom check. I think wisdom check would make you break out of Auntie's curse, or at least just resist it to not try to attack me for a turn. Okay, you spent your turn looking for Gale, which is fine. You can waste your turn, I don't care. You did a boon of servitude on anti-ethyl and then bardically inspired the guy who wasted his turn, okay. And then one of the fake anti-ethyls does nothing to Shadowheart and gets vaporized. Another one critically misses. Carlac and then does nothing. My turn. Let's shoot a flaming arrow. Right here. If I wanted my growth thing to pet, it wouldn't be you I'd call. Oh. So, the flaming arrow just straight killed it. Nice. Okay. I can't do... Anything else. What can we... No, I can't do my that because I'm immobilized. Uh, we can just drink a little potion then. Wait, what about Carlac? Why did Carlac's turn get skipped? Okay, that was weird. It went to you first. Ha! It worked exactly like I had hoped! <laughs> uh, hi, Jess. Listening on your way to Fred Meyer. Need anything? Um, yes. I need mayo. Um, I just used the last of it yesterday for my sandwich. And, uh, I go, I get the light kind. Um... And I would greatly love it if you could pick that up for me. Um, but no, it, it worked exactly how I had hoped it would work and expected it not to work. Gale's Witch's Bolt still is connected even after she teleported. So we know which one is the real one and which ones are the fake ones. Oh, this is amazing. You're going to provoke an attack of opportunity by the big guy. Okay, I, I genuinely don't care. Actually, actually, yeah, I still don't care. Okay, I took four damage. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, you can jump that far. Uh, 
Okay, are you at a place where you could hit that with an arrow? No, okay. Can you hit anti-ethyl with a regular attack? No, she's just a smidge out of the range. Dang it. You could do a rush attack against her, that would be perfect. Oh, are you a clever clog? <laughs> Using the rush attack to get a little tiny extra bit of movement. Oh, and we can hit the... Okay, so... Lind, Karlak, one of your fire arrows, please. Hi, puppy. Do you need lap time? Do you need lap time? Daddy will let you up. There's your good boy. Mm, thank you for the kisses. Thank you very much for the kisses. Okay. But... You can't shoot a fire arrow as a bonus action, only as a regular action. Okie dokie. Understood. Okay, then it's just beat up anti-ethyl for a little bit extra damage. That's perfect. Command halt. Um... Psionic Backlash. I shouldn't have done that. Did Carla get her save? No, Carlac did not get her save. What is with that distortion? Is that... Is that supposed to be there? Uh, okay, well, will activating the Witch's Bolt break your invisibility? Yes, it will. Oh well, still worth it. Oh wait, that counted as my action for the turn? Daddy loved the puppy. Daddy loved the puppy. Shit, that was, I didn't realize that would count as my action for the turn. Daddy loves the puppy. Is there any... I could drink a haste potion. Speed potion, I mean to say. I should have said. That's too far away. Target is too far. Okay, then go for shocking grass. Oh wait, okay. Eldritch Blast, get you and you and you know what, one of you just for good measure. <laughs> Dissipate two of the clones before they can do anything. A little bit of damage to you. And then get me just a smidge further away. And hopefully the, we'll, we'll be able to keep the bolt. You failed your wisdom saving throw. Sure, okie dokie then. And then you miss. You lost your bardic inspiration. And you accomplished absolutely nothing. Understood. Sure. 
Shadow Heart. I'm gonna want you to accomplish nothing. Perfect. Good job. And what we were told would be a bonus action bite was a lie. It was a regular action bite, so it's just completely wasted. Boon of Servitude. Eh, no, we're not wasting a reaction on that. You did that on one of the fake ones. It literally doesn't matter. Ethel's Rite of Sickness on Gale. Possibly poison target. Three, uh, we want to counterspell that. And then you go invisible like a coward. Okay, you did hit Gale, but he succeeded his concentration saving throw, which was the most important thing. Carlac. What do you mean you're burnt out? Oh, you got fucking hit with command halt. Damn it! I forgot about that. I'm sorry, Carlac. That's my mistake. Still breathing, despite everything. I wonder if I could toss this hideous laugh to her. Yeah, she has enough intelligence. We don't want to kill these guys. They're not actually bad guys. They've been mind controlled. We could toss this hideous laughter one of them. Okay, but he got his save off. Dang it. Okay, as a bonus action, let's just go straight over there. It's what I should have done first, and then I could have shot this with an arrow. I'm a, a fire arrow. I'm so dumb. Oh well. Ow. That was a big shove. Um, did I take damage from the show? No? I don't even see it on the... Okay, whatever. Um, nah, don't waste our... Dang it, Gale! I was hoping you could keep your concentration. Okay, good save there, Shadowheart. Gale, 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 Gale. Whatever will we do with you, Gale? Can we hit this with a Scorching Ray? No, target is too far. Can we do a Shocking Grasp to Anti-Ethel? We could. What about... What am I looking for? We could try a Phantasma Killer that's probably not going to succeed. Let's try it anyway. Yep, that was a waste. Can we hurl a fireball? We can hurl a fireball at that, okay. Really? I was... A fire arrow kills it in one no matter how much damage. A, f a fireball which is quintessential fire, doesn't do shit to accomplish our goals. Fine. Whatever. Gail, I'm gonna want you to drink this potion. Thank you. You can't even hit Shadowheart when she's knocked down on the ground. Yes! Oh, dang it. I should have said no. Shadow Heart. 
You're too far away. Get closer. Don't even worry about the opportunity attack. Nope. Nope. Don't worry about it in the slightest. Okay, that is as far as you can get. Then... 16% to hit. Ethel. How about... 49% will take it. And you didn't do anything. Oh well. Might as well have missed. Uh, no. We're not wasting our reaction on you. Because we don't... We're not trying to kill any of you. We're only trying to kill Ethel. Um... No. No. Double miss. That's nice. Yep. Go invisible because you're a coward. Yes. Shield. Go more invisible because you're still a coward. Okay. That will heal up. But now we can shoot it with a fire arrow. What do I have to lose? Wait. Last time... I don't understand this. Last time we hit it with the fire arrow, it just straight died. This time, no, it doesn't. Okay, whatever. I got this. Do you? Do you got this? Are you gonna shoot it with the fire arrow, please? Okay, you did an attack. You you suffered an attack of opportunity first. Okay, well, it has 11 left. Go into a rage. Okay, sure. Ethel's Insect Plague. Is Gale out of counter spells? Because that's the real one, so we do. Mm. Okay, well, it's... Hey! They had two successful wisdom saves in a row! Nice! How much health does that thing have left? Eleven? Um... Sure, just straight take out the mushroom. Thank you! Okay. Yeah, I'm a pissant. That's absolutely right. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, Gale is out of counter spells. That's that's my bad for being a ding dong. Uh, we could vicious mockery anti ethel. No, that would be twenty five percent. Acid splash would be seventy two percent. That would be eighty five percent, and we would get three of them. Let's just go for that. Hey, and we broke her concentration. That was worth it. Okay, what else do we got in your bag of tricks here, Gale? Just drinking another potion, maybe? Because you have the fortitude of a month-old Twinkie. Shadowheart. Now is the time to use your Scorching Ray. Go all out. Really? Twice missed on a 75% chance? Okay, heal up your allies at least. Perfect. That's nice. Good job. Okay. You failed your wisdom saving throw. Hey, you revealed one of the invisible fake ones. Okay, another insect plague. Sure. more invisible cowardice and now we get to kill the real one can I do this I cannot but I can do this except I missed not enough movement Uh, well, I definitely need to heal, so... 
I'll also drink a healing potion. Carlac, cook with fire by shooting anti-ethyl, please. What the hell just happened to my camera? Shoot her again. What the hell is happening to the camera? Your Vanra, right? Your mom sent me. That's right. That's right. Acolyte. Child protection agents. Let's move. Inspiration point. What's hiding here? Hey, and we managed to do it without killing any of the masked people. Ring of Feywild Sparks. When your sorceress Tides of Chaos feature is active, you will always trigger wild magic surge when casting spells. That is very interesting if we were playing wild magic character. That could just go to our wares. Hey, Mask of Vengeance, we didn't kill you. Are you happy about that? Auntie, that's my baby. Where is he? Where is my baby? Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know where your baby is. Probably digested. Um, you. You you passed a wisdom saving throw. So maybe you'll be more of raising warships for every beastie the sea can throw at you. And I've never flinched. Not once. But Ethel? Umberly's tits. She snapped her fingers and <clears throat> had me. I would have died for her. Wanted to. Well, I'm glad they didn't kill you. Arm to the teeth. You could have killed me. I could have. Been right mm -hmm. to. Yep. But you didn't. I didn't. You're right. You have an old captain's thanks. And you have my you're welcome. I've dealt with her before. I knew what to do. Knowing and doing are two different beasts. And one is a hell of a lot harder than the other. You're welcome in the maid. Anytime. Oh, thanks. The old girl is as much your home as she is mine. And I'll gut anyone who says otherwise. Oh, Jess, if you are still listening, I also need dog food, and I'm pretty sure it's my turn to get it. Since you're already going to the store, if you want to get it, I'll just pay you back for it. I've got cash, and I'd be more than happy to just pay you back. Uh, but let's continue talking to these folks. Have you seen Auntie? I need to find her before they come back. Okay, so... The previous mask people we could talk to and try to convince to take off the mask. These ones we cannot. Or are they the same ones? Did they come back? Did they move with her? Because I'm only seeing three masks and we saved three of them. Or we, not maybe not saved, but didn't kill and didn't convince to take off their mask three of them last time and so we just had to leave them back behind in act one so i wonder if these are the same the people who are just too far gone to save oh it fell down Okay, now I can get past. Uh, well, there was the second door, and we're not sure where this door goes, so let's try this door. Oh, man, it's good to be home. First round on who? She who thirsts buys the drinks first. Oh, it comes out of this door right here. Hmm. Well, who is seeing here? Is it you? Let's see if, while the captain is down in the basement place, we could get into this chest. Yeah. 
Here you go, Carlac, have the gold. We saved her life. She can afford to give us what little gold she has in the chest. Wait, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, gotcha, break. What did I miss? What were those monsters? If there is so much as a scratch on you, I'm going to ruin Grizzly. Dad, breathe. I'm all right. And you, thank you for stopping those, whatever they were. I, I'm very confused. I didn't stop anybody up here. Oh, but you are all bewitched by Auntie Ethel too, huh? Okay. Interesting. So all of all of the dancing people without unique names were all bewitched by Auntie Ethel. Okay. You're just drunk. Anything of use? But now, it's interesting, now they have unique names only after they were killed. I don't understand, but... Ethel's chest key. Well, we just don't need a key because we just pick all the locks we need to get access to, but... There you go, Shadowheart. Hey, do you have anything new to say now that all hell broke loose? The hells is the captain. Why didn't she stop them freaks? Well, because she was bewitched just like them. Except she broke out of it. I've seen some dark shit down at the mead, but I've never seen anything like them monsters. Thank you for taking them down. Okay. This is kind of interesting. Their, uh, their dialogue is as if they saw me fight them, but none of these guys were in the basement. Interesting. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Is your captain all right? Else. I saved her from the hag. Oi, and I didn't lift a finger to save her. It was like I was stuck in a fog. All I could hear was a voice telling me the captain was safe and well upstairs. <sighs> captain said you're one of us now, so far as I'm concerned. Okay, he does have new dialogue. Uh... You... that might be new dialogue, I'm not sure. Siggy and Zvind. We need to tell the captain about this. We'll get the word out, but this ain't our problem. Nor yours, mate. So okay, they don't have... I mean, that might be new dialogue. But it's not anything interesting. The hells was that racket inside... Okay, and y'all don't know anything. Oh, it did sound a touch around. But somebody over here was talking about seeing the guys. If I'm not swinging a hammer working. This uniform's neat, isn't it? But... Well, you missed your shift at the counting house. You missed all the action when I took down off the, the Stone Lord. Do call. Or I would be, if it weren't for this blithering idiot. Okay, so I think what that means is that we've found out everything we can regarding this. So we can go back... 
Okay, she ran home to her mother. Where is this her mother? Yes, that is her mother's house. Over here? It's this house. Where is the door? The door is over here. Crimson Drops. You love bacon. Remember? I'm sorry. Mm. I can't hold you. You love bacon, remember. Property of Laura Burgors. Due to family circumstances, we are not accepting visitors at this time. An overdue reunion. Laura, how you bloody capin'? Myself and the boys were making port in a tin day, and we thought it high time we all had ourselves a few gargles at the blushing maid, and we ain't taking no for an answer. How's the little one? Bet she's as tall as myself now. My own boy outstripped me last year. They grow up so fast, don't they? I know you're happy in the city, but damned if we don't miss you under liberty. Board and civvies ain't the same without quick lip Laura. Yours fearsomely, Tim Two Fingers. Yeah, we're taking that. Hi, Laura. We found your child. You've brought back my sweet, sweet girl. I sure did. The hag was my problem to deal with. It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here. A token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. Ooh. Amulet of Wind Rider. How about we bake something? You love baking. Very rare amulet. Ride the winds and gust of wind. Transform to a cloud, becoming resistant to all damage, gain advantage on constitution, dexterity, and strength saving throws, and tiny in size. And gust of wind. Summon a strong wind that clears all clouds and pushes creatures back five meters, forcing them off balance once for a short rest. We could cast this spell once for long rest, and that once for short rest. And legendary weapon, Duelist's Prerogative. The hands are too big. 10 to 20 damage, which is more than our current weapon. It's been a long time since we found one that does more base damage than our current weapon. Be all right. I promise. Mommy. Main hand only. That's, that's, right. that's new one. Mommy, Elegant Duelist. If your offhand is empty, you score a critical hit when rolling a 19. Moreover, you gain an additional reaction per turn. Withering Cut. On a hit with a melee weapon, we would get an extra reaction. Could be powerful. But that is only if we don't have a weapon in our offhand. Withering Cut. On a hit with a melee weapon, use a reaction to deal additional necrotic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. What is my proficiency bonus? Probably my dex modifier? We can also get challenge to a duel. Challenge an enemy to attack only you, inflicting bleeding on the target. Dueler's enthusiasm. We well, are not dual wielding. You can make an additional melee attack with the dueler. Oh. That changes it. If we get to make an extra regular melee attack, is that once per turn? That's per turn as a bonus action. So instead of using our wimpy little 1 to 4 damage bonus action attack, we could get a straight another 10 to 20 damage bonus attack. Oh, I think that needs to be equipped. I think... So, reduce the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking by one. Effectively, we'd get the same thing out of it. Because it counts 19 as a critical hit. With, if we're only using it, or if, if we're using only it. Um, 
We need to roll two damage or less, re roll the die taken to highest result. So we would lose the rolling two damage or less, but the base damage itself is just greater in the first place. Uh, advantage on attack rolls against lightly or heavily obscure targets when using this blade. That doesn't come in off, come in too, come in effect too often. I think we're gonna go for it. Okay, that is, it's been a long time since, okay, and we're gonna disequip this. So we no longer get the plus seven bonus to critical hits, but critical hits are infrequent enough that I don't think that's a big loss. And then we'll just be able to do a secondary attack. 20, 9 to 16. Wait, does this amulet even do anything for us anymore? I don't think this amulet even do, does it? I haven't noticed. I haven't made attention. We might as well just equip this amulet too. That that quest reward was just an upgrade for us. Okay. I'm still going to hold on to this just in case we decide we don't like this, but all of that just sounds way too good to pass up on. Okay, all of these masks can go back to camp where we have our collection of others. These things can go to Shadow Heart. This goes to Carlac. Um, we'll just hold on to these things just for now. Okay, that was a great quest reward. I'm glad that we took the time to read the notes on how to save the child, because that was like semi-hidden information. Um, yeah. It's right about time, actually it's a little over time normally, where we would end stream. That is a very, a very successful ending to the stream. So I think we're just going to call it there. Um, we can't go tell the survivors the good news. It's part of this quest. Let's do that just to clean it all up nicely. And then we're going to end our stream for the day. Let's, let's, let's clean up. Oh, there's the door that I'm looking for. Your headache is gone. That's nice. Oi, Mayrina's been looking for you. Okay, let's go talk to Mayrina. Uh oh, is her husband dead because it was the hag's magic keeping him alive or undead or whatever? Nope, he's still there. Okay. Hey, Mayrina. We got good news. She's dead, isn't she? She is. Ethel is dead. Yes. Yes! Fuck you, Ethel, you miserable old <laughs> bat! <laughs> Fuck you for telling me I'd be an awful mom! That was nothing but a pregnant half -way. Get it out, girl. Get it out. Oh, and the girl? You saved her too, right? I sure did. She's traumatized, but alive. Oh, thank the gods. Mm, I'm you not the gods. That, Ethel is dead. Oh, you didn't change back. You're still a, a zombie. No. I thought with Ethel gone. Never mind. I'll, I'll find another way to turn you back. That's creepy. Somehow. But. He's never going to be human again. You have to let him go. We don't have friendship? We don't have friendship to use? Hey, look, it's a tin. Who'd have thunk it? Oh, your puppy. He had a nose. Yeah, okay. I know. Yes, you're a puppy. I love you. I've loved you since we lap were time? Kids. You want lap and time? You, you want to help me send off the stream? Oh. 
Hop, hop. 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 Hop, Killing him was a mercy. Then why does it feel so terrible? Grief is a terrible drug. Here. Thank up, you up. for killing Ethel. Up, up. But I'd like up, you to up. go now. I'll be fine. Oh, oh thank I'm you. You're a good boy. You're a good, I good just boy. Need some time. What? What is that? Fae semblance amulet. You have an advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Ooh. Nope, I think we're going to keep the other new amulet we got. Um, okay, well, even more rewards for that quest that I wasn't expecting. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to end it there now that both ends of the quest are complete. Chonk, you're a good boy. Thanks for saying goodbye. Uh, we'll be back on Monday for Morrowind Monday, and then we'll be picking up from here where we left off in Baldur's Gate on Tuesday. We stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We hope everyone out there has a wonderful day, night, morning, or evening. Jess, if you're still listening, thanks for being here, and thanks for picking up those things at the store for me, and if you heard me ask for those. And if there's any silent supporters who aren't in chat, thank you for being here just as much. We're always happy to have you. We hope you all have a great night or whatever. I already said that part. I am all topsy-turvy today. You know what I'm saying. Have a good one. Take care.